Good balls is a strike. Wow. Oh. Woo. All right, jungle is back. We got the brand new Sublime Focus here from 900 Global. Symmetric solid, so we're gonna compare it against the GOAT of Symmetrical Solids, the Phase 2. And also, one of my new faves, the Summit Ascent. Symmetrical Solid as well. So, we're gonna see how all three of these balls compare and if there's any difference. 40 foot pattern, we're gonna stand on 25. Now we're just gonna try and feed the ball to eight. Yeah, I'm gonna throw two more here with the phase two on that line. Just kind of get a nice baseline read with it. But as Jimu said in the previous vid with the motor balls in the phase two, you know, this is arguably the best benchmark ball ever made. So there's no question I'm gonna start with this on like a medium pattern. I'm either gonna throw this or my pitch black just to try and get a read on the lanes on a medium pattern and go from there. Missed a little right, came in a little flat, left the 10-pin. Missed a little left, through the face, and then we threw a good one, got a strike, 10 back. But you can see how nice that ball shaped into the pocket on a fresh medium condition. Not really much you have to worry about with a phase two on a fresh medium, fresh longer pattern, right? That ball's gonna be steady. The phase two's gonna read the mids exceptionally well. One of the best balls to ever do that. So now let's throw the Sublime Focus. Let's see how it compares. I kind of feel like it's gonna be a little bit earlier just because it's, you know, super fresh and it looks pretty furry to me. Two shots with that ball. I'm pretty confident I was hitting, you know, 15, 16 at the arrows there, just like the phase two was. And we went out Brooklyn both times. So let's make a move to the left. Let's try and find the pocket. We went five left with the Sublime Focus off the phase two. Still a little high, let's move two more. We should be right in the happy zone now. Seven boards left from the phase two with the Sublime Focus. So this ball, this ball's got some teeth for a symmetrical solid. Wow, seven boards left of the phase two with the Sublime Focus. Finally hit the pocket, phone to nine. So this ball is incredibly strong compared to the phase two, crazy. Okay, let's move one more board to the left, try and carry all 10 here. There we go. Finally far enough left from the phase two to strike. This ball hooks like crazy. Okay, let's throw the summit ascent on the same line as this, see what happens. See, this good ball is a strike. All right, that's summit ascent. I'm just a little right with that one. You know, good ball. Ooh, that one's got more back end, actually. Okay, we threw the summit ascent. Missed a little right on the first one. Came back, hit the pocket, carried all 10. Missed a little left on the second one. Through the face, three, six, nine, ten. So the summit ascent definitely has more back end than the focus. And they both out the phase two by like eight boards. You know, 10 year old technology, phase two, new technology, symmetrical solids. Uh, the new balls just hook more. But as you can see, that phase two is at the best line right now, right? It's the calmest ball there is that I have out of these three. And I can control the pocket that much easier with it. All right, about halfway through the vid here with Jungle, we got the brand new Sublime Focus from 900 Global. Speaking of focus, how do you focus when you need a strike, when you need to punch out? or when you get distracted, how do you regain your focus? Let me know down in the comments below. In line with the phase two, probably just gonna tickle the head pin here. Maybe five boards less of hook potential, right? Where the other balls would like grab a little earlier and like continue through the pins a little bit better, where that one kind of skates through if you're too deep with it. Yeah, definitely more hook potential than new balls, symmetrical solids in the phase two. One more with the phase two, Let's go back to the new ball. Okay. 
Just tickle in the head. Okay, let's throw the sublime. Same line I just struck on. Okay, we seem to have found the line with the sublime focus. We're way for the left than I thought I'd have to play. That ball definitely rolls super early and kind of lays off in the back end. So we're gonna throw the sum of the same line again and just make sure that this ball goes a little further, a little more continuation down lane. Wow, yeah, that ball has a much more violent change of direction than the sublime focus. All right, we know what these balls do. Let's talk about it. All right, John goes back from the lanes throwing the brand new Sublime Focus by 900 Global. I compared it to the Summit Ascent and the Phase 2. The Phase 2, you know, the most popular benchmark ball, Symmetrical Solid, the Symmetrical Solid Go. This ball outhooks it by probably five or six boards easily. It's earlier, it's more, it's just a bigger ball overall. Not size-wise, just more hook. I was pretty surprised by this. You know, the phase two does hook quite a bit for me uh, during league and tournaments. You know, it's one of my benchmark balls. I'm able to, I'm able to curve it quite a bit when I need to. And the summit ascent, you know, is a, a little bit longer down lane, a little more off the back, but also out hooks the phase two by, by three to four boards. And then the sublime versus the summit ascent. This one is earlier for sure. And maybe like one or two boards more. And you know, I really love that summit ascent. That that ball's gonna come with me everywhere as a nice complement to my phase two. You know, just a little bit more, more cover, more ball, and a totally different reaction with the symmetrical salt. The sublime here is a little earlier, so I think if I'm bowling on some, you know, with a little bit more volume, and I gotta stay a little further right, uh, something like a short pattern where you know you're gonna use urethane or you gotta use a really tumbly reactive ball. That's the the condition where I'm gonna bring this. You know, as we moved a little bit further into the middle of the lane, into the oil, where most of the concentration of oil was, uh, this ball did look much better. And I think that's where this ball is really gonna shine on really heavily high volume patterns, right? So if you're bowling on a pattern or a house that doesn't hook very much, you know, you gotta get yourself one of these as one of your benchmark balls. With all that being said, we got some new merch. So if you like the new shirts we're wearing, they are proshop.threadless.com. You know, you can pick your design, you can pick your color shirt, you can pick your size, ship right to your door, anything you want. Shirts, sweaters, hoodies. We got a bunch of designs on there. Check it out, see if there's anything you like and uh, order something. All right, and last but not least, don't forget my question down below, focus. How do you focus when you need a strike or how do you get back into focus when you get distracted on the links? Let me know down in the comments. I love reading these. Everyone's probably gonna have something a little bit different. All right, see you in the next video.